Hi guys, welcome to real time automation. In our last video we have seen how the runner class and step definitions, how to segregate them. So today in this video we are seeing like how to write the feature file or scenario and how to integrate them with the step definition. So I have a one video like I covered that real time how the things works in a for uh, agile um, so how to take up the task so in real time I'm going to explain today I am in a currently in a sprint one I'm going to automate for negative login today the user story okay um, let's begin like so right click here okay before to that one I want to show you like manually what need to be tested after that one we'll go there on the Chrome browser whatever the browser that you are um, comfort with comfortable that browsers you can open that you can so currently I'm showing the you um, you test that I'm going to automate for negative scenario click on sign in link and then sign in button this part I'm going to validate today okay so let me go back let me go back here and let's go to ID and we start creating um, so that right click here on new and the file feature sorry we need to write a login is a feature So now we are done that it is out by default these things are going to show like these are the examples by default that they are saying that how to use a scenario outline or scenario and uh, these are the given when things what they are exactly that it is going to show delete them all feature feature dots so we need to write validate login functionality validate the login functionality next we are going to scenario scenario is again a business justification that what it should be done uh, here we need to write this is a business justification validate the negative login functionality this is a business justification that we should give there will be multiple scenarios under feature uh, currently we are going to write one that I will I'm going to show you one um, first is a given given is a precondition that what we are doing that should be written here um, so preconditions to uh, prior to uh, running our scripts what it should be done uh, so navigate to you test url is a precondition right then uh, we have a when when is something that you perform events or click or enter and uh, enter something or drop down whatever the actions you perform on web elements right that will come under when so now we are clicking on click on sign in link here i will show you with respect to that one so we are clicking on sign in right after that clicking on sign in we can go for and or when either is fine with that like and is a sequel of when when uh, so we have as a sequence of things that we are performing actions right that we can follow and click on it is not necessary to have capital but it will look good for me let me click on sign and button then validate the um, error message okay just copy okay so whatever this is the expected right let me sign in once again click on sign in this is the expected one that we are going to validate 
for a very first time the color will be like this because we these are the unimplemented this still we didn't implement right there are multiple tags that we follow like we can give with the scenario as we have multiple scenarios right that time we should give a scenario for which scenario you want to run otherwise now we are having only one scenario right so we can give above feature level what happens right when there are 10 scenarios in the same feature file when you give here it is going to pick all 10 scenarios so whenever you want one run one particular then you need to pass this um, tag over here now we'll pass the same tag in the runner one so it's already been passed here uh, so the tags you can see right that you should pass here and right click right click run as j init you can see the, um, the it will generate the glue codes in a console see you can see it has been generated the glue codes here copy those and paste them in a step definition paste them in a step definition um, so what right it's already showing like okay Okay, um, I'm going to clear out this one. I need not, uh, I am, I don't require them. So if you want, you can keep it up and make use of them. If you are having, if you find any users with them, you can keep it up them that uh, otherwise it's, you can remove if it is like confusing. Import all given when things. So I am passing a driver here. Web driver driver. So I am initializing a driver here and import the web driver. So I am running in a Chrome driver. I have already code for that one. So all you have to do is to have a Chrome driver in your eclipse file so that it is not always the path issues will come otherwise if you have in somewhere in our local just make sure that you have in a uh, folder chrome folder and a chrome driver i have given a path of that one here you can see here now i am going to import that one after that one i will write a code to maximize uh, the um, browsers the browser what the browser it is going to display very first time it will be in a uh, normal size so whenever we write this code right execute this code um, it is going to dot um, manage dot windows why manage dot window yes and dot maximize so it is going to maximize the window after that one we i am passing the url get string so the url will be i'm i'm going back i'm going to pass this one here in a string format okay after that one i am passing a thread dot slip is not a standard procedure initial right this is the initial framework that um, i will be using this one once we are in a full fledged framework there is lot of weights that i will be showing you guys like uh, you can answer in interviews also the most of the interview questions will be on this weights only you uh, i will make sure that um, i will be explaining them in clear way um, in coming up videos to you like initially now i'll go with the thread dot slip so now i need to um, click on sign in right in my next click code that is saying so just i'll inspect that one you can see this is the anchor tag means anchor tag a wherever you find this one this is the link text so i will go with a driver dot find element by dot link text and i'll pass the link here in this um, in a string format so this is the link sign in button dot click it is going to perform click operation over here and thread dot sleep okay 
it is going to next it is see you can say click on sign in link it is going to perform this sign in click next click on sign in button after clicking on sign in button you are going to get a sign in button you should click on this one so we can see name id it's always good that if you have a name id those things because execution will be fast if you um, if you look at the elements using them so first priority id name then if they are not there you can go with a link or partial link text if it is a links and if not you can go with the x paths so sign in sorry i have given a tag name here like so this so this by id by id we need to we are going with the by id we need to pass or shut okay so we need to pass the value of id you can see kc underscore or okay dash login is there right that you need to pass here and same function you need to perform the click and thread dot slip so here you can see the validations uh, we are performing so the expected value is coming from here again you can see um, I will do control F okay now you can see the color has been changed because the methods has been implemented the color is gone that it is the meaning of this one is that the step definition glue codes been implemented in the step definition somewhere so the color will be changed the expected value is coming from here so from here to this particular here we'll write it as expected the value is coming whatever the string format we are given there right it is coming here so now what we'll do is like driver dot find element by dot um x path we need to go because we don't have anything over there i think id or once we click here right so we need to go with the x path only so nothing is there you can see like uh, apart from class nothing is there directly i will write the x path there for that one uh, in uh, inverted commas to have dot contains contains text it's already uh, some of the keys are not functioning here directly I have written here I'll copy paste the same uh, so you can see that contains text invalid username or password so as it is a web element like uh, we are going to store in some web element single web element so after that one we need to import this one web element then we need to store store the value that value which is coming from the uh, ui right that we need to store it from the this is the actual value the ui whatever we are going to see that one is that ele dot get text we are getting the text from that element after that one we are using assertion to compare the things assert there are a lot of assertions you can go um, here assert dot equals string message string comparison string expected string actual okay you can see the expected is coming from here to here or you can write it x sorry i will replace with this one with a, this and the actual is coming from here and the reason for this um, scratch is right so it is uh, importing this framework junit dot framework i don't want that one let me use org junit dot org dot junit so this one if it now we are in a pretty good shape like why the actual is having a issue okay after that one we are closing the driver driver dot close okay now i am going to run this one uh, using jnit right click here run as jnit now 
now it is going to open the browser here and it is going to expand that one to the full um, size after that one it is going to give the URL now you can see it is going to it's expanded now it is going to give URL over here you test after that one it is going to click on sign in link after that one sign in button then it is going to validate that message invalid username or password as we are given assertion if there is any mismatch it is going to throw error and it is going to finally close the driver I think there are some issues with this one I think okay let me see like unable to find locate element with expression okay dot contains text following error okay the x path it is showing some error we'll make it out like contains text okay i got this why this error is being generated i'll make it copy then okay now we are in pretty good shape like this time it is it should execute let me run J in it I'm going to close this one same way it is expanding the things and giving the URL you should be be careful while writing the x path that um, brackets or anything small things you are missing then it is going to uh, break your script so so now it's well valid username or password so now so it's executed see you can see one scenario passed and four steps is being passed and you can see j in it also it is showing all the passed steps here over here thanks guys thanks for watching my video uh, please comment subscribe uh, like and if you have any queries you can i will be posting this one in my fb page also you can uh, message me over there